Well, my friends, it's funny how when you get involved with different projects and making YouTube videos, one can overlap and interfere with the making of another one. I'm not making a whole lot of speedy progress with my trailer project, but I will. I did drag out this bed frame while I was thinking about it. We're never going to use it. We got plenty of beds here. If we ever want a new bed, we'll just go buy one. But this is some fairly substantial angle iron. It's not real heavy duty, but it's thick enough for what I need. To build some framework to put on that trailer to mount my generator on. So I went ahead and put them out. I'll get my saws on and probably cut that angle iron up. But I'm going to stop and go back out to my boat for a couple hours this morning. I got some tomatoes I need to get canned. I usually wind up doing the canning of the tomatoes. My wife does all the freezing of vegetables. But I got to stop and get back on that boat project just a little bit and see if I can get that ignition key off where I can send off and order one. I had a heck of a time and gave up last time of getting the ignition switch even off the boat because I didn't want to tear it up. But I'm going to spend an hour or two working on that, maybe later this afternoon if it ain't too hot, which is another reason my projects ain't making much progress is this extreme heat. But maybe later this afternoon I can get on the generator project. Just look how tall this grass is out back. Another project I need to do. While I'm sitting on this cutting machine, let's at least mow a path around this building here where I won't be walking in knee-high grass. I don't want no ticks on me. Well, I haven't forgotten my project of using that trailer top right there for a, a bed, carry bed or pickup truck, truck type bed on the back of this lawnmower I'm sitting on. We're going to get around to that project too. A lot of shades out here. Let's get off and tinker with this boat. Well, we're under the boathouse. We're going to disconnect the batteries. Before I begin working on this ignition switch, wouldn't want to shorten nothing out. Uh, definitely cooler under here. I'm in the shade until the sun starts blistering in this afternoon. 
Hopefully I'll be out of here by then. I gotta climb down and unplug the battery charger. I thought I'd look just a minute at my little boathouse here. I never finished building it. But I'll tell you a little bit about it. See all those two by fours up there? They were all free. I salvaged them from somewhere. So I made my own little roof trusses. And these beams over here, I forget where I got them, but they were free. I bought these iron pipes in a junkyard for practically very little, I don't know, 20, 30 bucks. Came home, dug all the holes and made a square, basically a square. Built all my roof trusses, I'm stick built on the ground, although I'm not much of a truss builder, but I made them all the same shape. Now I lifted them up there one at a time with a small crane I had on the back of one of my railroad trucks one afternoon. Climbed up there and nailed plywood on it, put shingles on the roof, and it turned out pretty sturdy little boathouse. I should have finished building it, at least put some sides on it. But I wasn't very able after I got hurt. I never got around to it. But open like this in the weather is why my ignition key got so much moisture and rain inside there. I'm almost sure it's going to solve some of my problems just replacing it. But first I've got to be able to get it off there. Alright, we'll begin by taking these four screws out again. Somehow i got to figure a way to hold it ignition switch from turning while I loosen the nut the whole switch is turning and you can't lift the high enough to get your hand underneath there maybe I can stretch it no no should have brought my power screwdriver see the down inside there all this dirt dauberness down in here. That might have something to do with my kill switch right there. I'm gonna figure some way to hold that switch. I don't see any way to get a wrench on it. Maybe a pair of pliers would do it without damaging anything. Give pliers a whirl. Very gently, of course. I'm going to open them up just a smidgen. It appears to be moving. Feels like it is. I can't see. Oh yeah. I got that booger loosened up with my pliers. Anything to make it more complicated for Walter. Oh my goodness, that don't even come out. What in the world? Call from women's cancer. Call from women's cancer. Scam calls, I get tired of them.
tried to pull the wires off, even though I know if I pull them off, I couldn't get them back in the right place. They won't come off. But I finally figured out I can twist this switch and maybe screw it out if I keep rotating this disc. It'd be nice if the wire was a little longer. Looks like I'm going to get this plastic cover off anyway. I haven't even got some color coat paint to color coat this stuff. It looks like it almost seems like that piece would push out, but no, it's threaded in there. My George, we just took it off. What a pain. I don't think I'm going to find any numbers on that ignition switch. Yeah, there's something there. Get my glasses on. What I do with them? A little Chinese dude that invented this didn't. me a whole lot. See Chinese, I don't know what it was. Well, my friends, I ordered a new switch from MarineEngine.com. Uh, the price came to a little over $71. It'll be here in three to five business days. We'll be boating this booger back on the boat.